Breaking news, guys. The sun seems to have woken back up. It's surging again. There have been two major events here in the last three hours. You're looking at, at one of the events right here over at the Soho Lasco C3. This is only part of what just occurred, and I'll show you guys what occurred first. A 600,000 mile wide filament eruption right there lifts off the surface of the sun partially right there, earth directed. Here's another view. You can see it a little bit better right there massive plasma filament here's what it looked like on the soho lasco c2 and lasco c3 once again there was an earth directed component creating a shock wave right there you can see in the ionosphere felt almost immediately and then following that it's not even showing up yet on the soho instruments was this right here a large x-class solar flare we haven't seen one in a few days that too had a a slight earth directed component and here's a look at one of the instruments on board the SDO. The SDO monitors the sun 24 7, has since 2009. Right there was the eruption. Information is still coming in as this is very, very new. We've got action on both sides of the sun. There's activity turning towards the Earth right now as I do this video. This energy comes from an area that's been facing the Earth for several days. Here's the data at the Space Weather Prediction Center. You can see the, the X1 solar flare that occurred just a few minutes ago. And then right there was the shock wave that showed up once again in the ionosphere are we ready for a direct impact of a of a large cme like we had back in 1859 the carrington event of 1859 sent a, a massive cme towards the earth following a very large they're they're assuming at least an x25 solar flare that created a huge cme that that made it to the earth in less than 16 hours in today's world that's loaded with technology and the the earth is swarming with satellites and, and everybody's depending on power grids. We've been seeing issues with the power grids, and this is a map that I shared yesterday. 17 million were impacted in February down in, in Chile for reasons unknown. 900,000 in Mexico for reasons unknown. United Kingdom, France, Spain, and Portugal, once again, reasons unknown. Puerto Rico, Cuba have been having issues off and on all year long dealing with the power grid. So a large eruption like this, and there have been two today, is indeed a sign that the sun is definitely waking back up. Are we prepared for a direct impact of a of a massive CME as we are in the middle of, of solar maximum, solar cycle 25? And again, we've been seeing unexplained power outages all around the world affecting major power grids for reasons unknown. Once again, the sun is surging, guys. I'll keep you guys updated as the information comes in. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.